Now let's consider this matrix product. Now this example is auditioning for the shortest video in the series because these two matrices are incompatible. Indeed, the matrix on the left has three columns while there are only two entries in the matrix on the right. So we cannot even form a legitimate linear combination with three vectors and two coefficients. This matrix would have had to have a third entry for this matrix product to be compatible. So these two matrices are incompatible and this product cannot be carried out. So this completes this example. But there are a couple things I would like to say about incompatible matrix products. They're actually useful in a couple different ways, believe it or not. Number one, if you're analyzing a problem and you came across an incompatible matrix product, that means you did something wrong, you should go back and find your mistake. So incompatible matrices are a signal that you did something wrong. So that makes them very useful. Another application is for us to put it on the exam. And in connection with that, I have one piece of advice. If you're taking an exam and you find an incompatible matrix product, you can rest assured that it's the only one because you would have to be a total killjoy to put two of these examples on an exam. So there you go, incompatible matrices and incompatible matrix products. Watch out for them.